I'll run right through you. No, I'm a different fireman. Mm -hmm. You know that. I, I can tell you respect. Yeah, I got respect for you. I can tell you. Gold medalist. I, can I can't wait you. to take that too. I'll take it off you. <laughs> in the world of combat sports, lions face each other in search of everlasting glory. Well, no, don't say, hey, guys, they good, guys. They good. They good. Keep your they hands good. to yourself. They good. While fame and fortune are good and all, the true essence of the fight lies in the quest for being the best and creating a legacy worthy of pride. But not everyone gets this. Once in a while, rat fighters disgust the world with their dirty tactics and lack of honor. So fight fans, welcome back to another episode where cocky rats get punished, defeated, and utterly humiliated for their arrogant and disgusting ways. You don't fight with honor. No. Without further ado, let's dive straight into it with our rat fighter number one, Yannick Bahati. Bahati was scheduled to fight Drykus Duplessis in a middleweight bout at EFC 62. The fighter became extremely arrogant, crowning himself as the king of South Africa. In his arrogance, he felt he could get away with anything. To be honest, a little trash talking is fine, but what he did was despicable. Bahati wanted to get inside Duplessis' mind by saying that he had slept with his girlfriend. Such a rat act. But he did not stop there. The cocky rat slapped Duplessis during the face-off. Needless to say, things were getting personal. But in the fight, the overconfident Bahati showed a very different side. He wanted to roar like a lion, but squeaked like a rat. Just look at how Yannick Bahati cowered in front of Duplessis' aggressive charge. But he still taunted his opponent by sticking his tongue out. I guess when you can't land a hit, mind game's all you've got left. But Duplessis remained calm and finally went in for the finishing move. He grappled Bahati to the ground and choked him with full force. The guillotine choke proved too much to handle. After all the arrogance, Bahati tapped out like a rat in the first half of the very first round. Bahati not only lost the bout, but his rat-like behavior earned him the disdain of the crowd. But, but perhaps the biggest rat in the history of MMA is Mikhail Gazayev. His fighting style is a joke, a mockery of mixed martial arts. In his fight against Konstantin Glukov, he crawled the canvas instead of standing upright. The goal was to confuse and irritate the opponent into making an illegal head kick. The rat succeeded in his trickery. Glukov coded him with a kick to the head. But as the kick was illegal, Glukov was disqualified from the bout. The nasty strategy may have won the bout, but the respect of the crowd is a totally different thing. For his dirty tactics, the crowd absolutely despised Gazev. The rat fighter was booed off the stage, so even though he won the fight, his career as a fighter got absolutely tarnished. What do you think? Should fighters win at all costs, or should they follow an honor code and fight like warriors? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Up next, we have Joe Harding. Harding's rat moment gave birth to one of the most memorable knockouts in the history of MMA. In the featherweight title bout, Harding gave no respect whatsoever to his opponent, Johan Sega. At one point in the fight, Harding pretended to touch gloves but proceeded with a leg kick. That's a move straight out of the rat's playbook. Johan's leg was badly hurt. Harding bruised the leg even further by landing another kick. This severely compromised Johan's speed. Everything was going good for Handing, but the cocky fighter just could not control his rat instinct and started dancing amidst the fight. He taunted his opponent even further by dropping all defenses. Johan remained focused, and sure enough, Harding once again averted his gaze from his opponent and started the dance moves. With one mighty kick, Johan floored the rat and continued beating him to a pulp with his hammer fists. The ref stepped in to announce a humiliating loss for the arrogant and dishonorable Joe Harding. What Joe Harding did at the time of touch gloves was bad, but Alex Hannon took it to a whole new level in his bout against Andrei Mikhailovich. While everyone was expecting a respectful glove touch, 
Cannon punched his opponent in the stomach even before the fight started. Ref, fans, and commentators alike were in absolute shock at this disgusting act. Andre was pissed. He knew he had to teach this dishonorable rat a lesson. From the get-go, Andre exploded with lightning-fast jabs. Hannon could barely block any of the attacks. Then in the second round, with a fantastic left hook straight to the face, Andre forced the cocky rat to bend the knee. Although Hannon got up before the count to 10, he could not stay standing for long. With a combination of mighty jabs, Andre knocked Hannon to the ground for the second time. A dizzy Hanan tried to fight back, but amidst Andre's flurry of punches, the ref had to step in and stop the fight. The disrespectful rat suffered a humiliating loss. The bout between Zhao Yafei and Jeans Pulver was as electrifying as possible. In the beginning, Zhao looked like a dangerous warrior. He was agile and threw some power pack strikes, a proper fighter, but all that changed soon. You see, Zhao got scared after Pulver's submission attempts. Pulver dealt some serious damage with his knees in both of those takedowns, but somehow, Zhao survived. But now that Zhao was scared of losing, his inner rat finally appeared. In the third and final round, the scared fighter started hitting Pulver's balls. Intentionally hitting the groin area is illegal, but here's the catch. It's hard to tell if it's intentional or just an accident. So the fight continued, but Zhao made another kick to the nut within 10 seconds of the first one. Two nut kicks in 10 seconds can't be a coincidence. Pulver was in excruciating pain and could no longer fight. Zhao Yafei was disqualified for his illegal move. But more than that, his rat move earned him the hatred of the fans. The last name of today's rat list is someone who had once been hailed as a lion. The former UFC world bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. In his flyweight title bout against Henry Shuyudo, the bantamweight champion became a little too cocky. Dillashaw talked smack and looked down on his opponent from the very beginning. He wanted to win so bad that he secretly started using a performance-enhancing drug. Combat sport is already dangerous and using performance-enhancing drugs makes the fight potentially lethal for the opponent. But TJ Dillashaw didn't care for any of that. Like a filthy rat, he secretly jacked up on the illegal substance. After being jacked up, the arrogant TJ Dillashaw lost to Henry Segudo. But karma was far from over. The news about Dillashaw's doping soon came out. TJ Dillashaw tested positive for injectable EPO. TJ Dillashaw just got suspended by USADA for a year. As a result, Dillashaw lost two precious years of his prime and had to give up the coveted bantamweight belt. Plus, the world was disgusted. Once praised as a great, now despised as a filthy little rat. So the moral folks, if it acts like a rat and talks like a rat, then it will be remembered like a rat. One can get ahead by cutting corners, but sooner or later, karma will catch up. What truly matters is the legacy. Win or lose a rat's legacy is always going to be of disgust, shame, and dishonor. In the world of Muay Thai, one fighter has earned a reputation for putting arrogant fighters back in their place. He does this with style and dignity. Click on this video to watch Sanchai's masterclass in humility.